Hello there. If you are a teacher or a student who wants to know how to add or write equations digitally, then this is the right video for you. In this new normal, an interactive, collaborative, virtual classroom expressing math equations digitally has always been a struggle. No need for you to worry because in this video presentation, this will help students and educators in mathematics, science, and STEM to write equations in the different Google products. And that is with the use of Equatio. Equatio is a Google Chrome extension. It offers the following. You can seamlessly add mathematical equations and expressions, insert graphs, and use STEM-related tools, like periodic table and calculator, like this. Periodic table of elements and scientific calculator powered by Desmos. Let's do this. In this video, we are going to use Equatio in our Google Forms. The same procedure applies in the rest of the Google products like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. So let's go. So the first thing that we need to do is to search for our Google Chrome extension and type Equatio. Equatio. And press Enter. Now you can see here, Math Made Digital. Click on that and then add it to your extension. Add to Chrome as an extension. Add extension like this. If you have successfully added Equatio as your Google Chrome extension, then you can see its icon at the upper right portion right here besides your extension icon. If not, then you need to click on your extensions icon and pin Equatio. The next part is we will now open my Google Drive. I will add a new tab. I'll click new tab and I will click this icon for my Google Apps icon. I'll click on my Google Drive once. It opens my Google Drive. What I need to do next is I will click on the new button right here and I will click on more. Then I will click on Google Forms. It opens a new tab for my untitled Google Form. I will type here as my, as my title for this video, sample quiz. Now, I will click on the first untitled question. And do not forget, by the way, to change the settings and change it to a quiz. So I'll click on this to make this a quiz. And I'll save. Now, let me go back to my sample quiz in my Google form. What I need to do is I will click on the first equation, let's say this one, the untitled question, and I will type in my question. Say, for example, my question is, what are the factors of, then I'm going to input my equation. Now, to input my equation, observe that there is this icon at the upper right. Click on that, and you will see all the available tools in your equation. Say, for example, I will use the equation editor. To use that, you can type in your equation. Now, let me type my polynomial. Let's say x squared. But here, to write a squared, what you need to do is to click on the three dots for more options. You will see here this one for the general, general tools that you can use this square root symbol and even a strike through. Now, I can click on this for more symbols like the operations or operators and I can click on this to change the layout. What it means for layout is I can have a subscript, a superscript or even a matrix. For more options, you can scroll down to see the available options. Right there, there are so many available layouts. Now, if I click on this, it will also give me formulas like the difference quotient. And let me scroll down to see the other available equations or formulas. I even have your area of a circle, area of a rectangle, and a lot more. Going down, you have there a lot of options for your formulas. Let me go up now. Okay, now what I need to do is, since I'm going to write a polynomial, I need to write a squared. So I will now be clicking on the layout, and I will choose superscript. One more time, let me delete that. I will type 
before typing, I will choose more options. Click on the three dots. Then I will choose layout. Then I'll click on superscript. I will now delete letter A by pressing backspace, backspace, then right two. So you can see on my screen, it turned into X squared. I'll click on the right arrow key, then continue with my equation. Say, for example, it's X squared plus 4X plus 3 equals 0. Now, once I'm done, I need to click on the lower right, the word insert math, meaning it will be inserted as an image in your Google Forms. Let's see. And there you go. You see the three dots? It gives you more options in your image. You can have the different alignments and even change the picture and remove the picture. Now, right now, you cannot see it clearly, but let's have a, re a preview of our Google Forms. Now, we have successfully added our first equation. So that's very good. That's a very nice feature of Equatio. Now, for example, if I'm going to add a graph in my options, even though that is not part of the question right here, because what I'm asking is, what are the factors? Now, allow me to add another question just for us to avoid any confusion. I'll add a question. Let's say in my question, I am going to type there my question. So let's say, what is, this is now my question number two, number two, what is the slope of the graph below? What I need to do is to insert a graph. To easily do that, you say equation. Again, click on the icon. This time, I will not anymore choose my equation editor. Instead, I will click on the graph editor. Click on the graph editor. I already have one earlier, so I'll delete that and I'll have I'll start a new graph. I'll start a new writing a new equation. So what I need to do right now is to write my equation. So say for example, my equation is y is equal to 2x plus 3. Now, this is powered by Desmos. In this side, you're going to type in your equation. At the right side, you see that it automatically gives you the graph of that equation. And this is now your graph. This is a wonderful feature of equation. So the next one is, if I'm ready with this one, if this is now the graph that I'll be using, I will click insert graph. So this time, the graph is now inserted in your question number two. So I can resize this by clicking on the image and clicking one of its corners, then I'll drag it to my desired size like this. Now, let me add another question to explore the other features of your equation. Let me click on this icon again. We are done with equation editor. We are also done with the graphing editor graph editor rather then we will now be exploring handwriting recognition let me erase the example now what i'm going to do is to use my mouse and type here or write here on the left side an equation let's say x cube let me write x cube minus any polynomial let's say 2x squared let me try plus 5x, there you go, minus 1 is equal to 0, like that, okay? I really have here a very bad handwriting. Let's see on the right side if it was able to properly write my equation. Let me write, let me check x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. Perfect. Now, if it's ready, I can click on insert math and it will be inserted in my Google Forms. Okay, let me click on that. Insert math. And same with the rest. It will be added now to our Google Forms. Okay, so this time we are going to explore the other feature of Equatio and that is the speech input. Let's click on that. You'll see here on the left side, speech and math on the other side, meaning our speech will now be transformed into a mathematical equation. Let me click on this button to start my speech input. I'll click on that. Let's say x cubed plus 5x squared minus 1 equals 0. I'll click insert math. Earlier, during the speech input, 
the other words in my speech, as part of my speech, is not being recognized as a mathematical equation. So that's a very good feature of equation. It only deals or it only transforms those words that can be applied as an equation, like this one. This time, what we are going to explore is the other feature, and that is Insert Math Space. When you click on that, it will open a new tab, and then it's like this. Let me close on that. I already have opened one new tab, so like this. Now, this is now your math space, a bigger space for you to work on. You have more tools, like for example, shapes. You can add shapes, like a trapezoid, for example. Let's click on that. You will have your trapezoid. You have also smart shapes. Like, for example, an angle measurement, like here, you can measure the angle. And change that, for example, let's say the angle is closer to 70 for you to adjust the angle or even 72 degrees. You can move that to check if that is really closer to 72 degrees, more or less. There you go. Now, that's closer to that. So, I'll change that to around 73 or 74. Okay. Like that. And you can close this. And that's your angle. 74 degrees for your trapezoid. And here, we can also insert our periodic table and even use our scientific calculator. So this is now a very big working space for you. Okay? Going back to our Google Forms, let's try, it. Let's try to click on Screenshot Reader. It reads an equation. Say, for example, now what... What we have here is when I click on Screenshot Reader, when I click and highlight this, observe. It will enclose it inside a box, and then... X cubed plus 5X squared minus 1 equals 0. It actually reads your equation. One more time. X cubed plus 5X squared minus 1 equals 0. There. Very nice. If I click on the three dots, I can copy this. So I already have this in my Google Forms, right? So it means that you can go outside your Google Forms. Say, for example, I'll add a new tab and I will search for an equation. Say, for example, I'm going to search for the equation of quadratic formula. I'm going to type that here. Then I'll click search. Then I'll go to images, for example. And let's say this one. I'll click on that. So what we need to do now is to click on the icon for Equatio. And then click on Screenshot Reader. One more time. Screenshot Reader. And you will see your cursor turn into a cross. You will now click and drag to select your equation. And let's wait for it to process. It's now processing. Okay. X equals the fraction with numerator negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC and denominator 2A. Amazing. It reads the equation. Now, allow me to move the toolbar for us to check the other available options. Now, you see this three dots? Click on that. Then copy latex. Next is go to your Google form. And then I will click one of its options. Let's say option number two. I'll change that. I'll click on this icon, one more, click on that icon, and then I will now, I already pasted that one in the past. Now what I will do is I will click on this equation editor. From there, I will paste by typing or pressing on my keyboard, Control V. There. So your the copied equation from your Google search image right here is now being copied and pasted in your Google form. Now let's insert that and let's check if it will be inserted. Let's see if that is available in our option two. Wow, it's now being inserted in your option two. Out from the image that you've searched, you already have transferred that in your Google form. That's wonderful. Now let's click again on our icon for you to see that there are available STEM tools like periodic table as shown earlier. You can choose any of these elements to see the information. Let's say cobalt, for example, and we can even add that to our equation editor. Wonderful. Let's close that. And let's see the other one. That's your scientific calculator powered by Desmos. 
can have it here. You can also have to change that into this form and even functions. Very nice. Let me close that. And that's it. We are done exploring our Equatio. So that's how we use Equatio in our Google Forms. Same procedure applies to the rest of the Google products like Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Hopefully you find this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.